which condition is known for causing severe shooting facial pain often triggered by touching the face or chewing a bell's palsy b trigeminal neuralgia c temporal arthritis d cluster headache and the correct answer is b trigeminal neuralgia the condition known for causing severe shooting facial pain is trigeminal neuralgia it is often triggered by everyday activities such as touching the face chewing or speaking the pain is intense and sudden usually affecting one side of the face which surgery is performed to correct severe curvature of the spine a laminectomy b spinal fusion c discectomy d craniotomy and the correct answer is b spinal fusion the surgery performed to correct severe curvature of the spine is spinal fusion it involves connecting two or more vertebrae together so they can heal into a single solid bone this procedure stabilizes the spine and reduces the curvature caused by conditions like scoliosis Which anti-epileptic drug is also commonly used to manage trigeminal neuralgia? A. Valproic acid. B. Carbamazepine. C. Phenytoin. D. Topiramate. And the correct answer is B. Carbamazepine. Carbamazepine helps manage trigeminal neuralgia by stabilizing overactive nerve impulses. As an anti-epileptic drug it reduces excessive electrical activity in the brain and nerves which helps to alleviate the intense facial pain it is effective in decreasing the frequency and severity of the pain episodes Which surgical technique is used to treat aneurysms by placing a clip at the neck of the aneurysm? A coil embolization B clipping C craniotomy D thrombectomy And the correct answer is B clipping The surgical technique of clipping an aneurysm involves placing a small metal clip at the base of the aneurysm This clip cuts off blood flow to the aneurysm preventing it from growing or rupturing by isolating the aneurysm from the normal blood circulation the risk of bleeding is significantly reduced Which surgery is performed to implant a device that provides electrical stimulation to the spinal cord to manage chronic pain? A discectomy, B craniotomy, C spinal cord stimulation, D deep brain stimulation. And the correct answer is C spinal cord stimulation. Spinal cord stimulation is a medical treatment for chronic pain that involves implanting a device near the spinal cord to deliver electrical pulses. These pulses interfere with the nerve signals that transmit pain to the brain, effectively reducing the sensation of pain. The device consists of electrodes placed in the epidural space of the spinal cord and a small generator implanted under the skin. Spinal cord stimulation is typically used for conditions like chronic back pain, complex regional pain syndrome, and peripheral neuropathy among others.
which surgical procedure is used to relieve pressure on the spinal cord or nerve roots by removing part of a vertebra a laminectomy b craniotomy c spinal fusion d discectomy and the correct answer is a laminectomy Laminectomy is the surgical procedure used to relieve pressure on the spinal cord or nerve roots by removing a part of a vertebra. During a laminectomy, the surgeon removes the lamina which is the back part of the vertebra covering the spinal canal. This creates more space reducing pressure on the spinal cord and nerves which can alleviate pain and improve function. Which disease is characterized by the presence of amyloid plaques and neurofibrillary tangles in the brain? A. Parkinson's disease B. Huntington's disease C. Alzheimer's disease D. Multiple sclerosis And the correct answer is C. Alzheimer's disease Amyloid plaques and neurofibrillary tangles are signs of Alzheimer's disease. Amyloid plaques are protein clumps that disrupt cell communication. Tangles are twisted fibers inside cells that interfere with transport systems, leading to cell death and memory loss. Which condition is known for causing progressive vision loss due to damage to the optic nerve? A. Glaucoma B. Macular degeneration C. Diabetic retinopathy D. Cataracts And the correct answer is A. Glaucoma Glaucoma causes vision loss because it harms the optic nerve, which sends visual information from the eye to the brain. The damage often happens because of high pressure inside the eye. As the pressure damages the nerve, vision slowly gets worse, starting with side vision and potentially leading to blindness if not treated. Which condition is characterized by sudden temporary weakness or paralysis of the muscles on one side of the face? A. Trigeminal Neuralgia B. Bell's Palsy C. Guillain barre Syndrome D. Myasthenia Gravis And the correct answer is B. Bell's Palsy the condition characterized by sudden temporary weakness or paralysis of the muscles on one side of the face is called Bell's palsy. It happens when the facial nerve which controls muscles on one side of the face becomes inflamed. This causes one side of the face to droop or become hard to move. Which disease is caused by the degeneration of dopamine producing neurons in the substantia nigra? A. Multiple sclerosis B. Huntington's disease C. Parkinson's disease D. Amyotrophic lateral sclerosis ALS And the correct answer is C. Parkinson's disease The disease caused by the degeneration of dopamine producing neurons in the substantia nigra is Parkinson's disease. In this condition, the loss of dopamine leads to problems with movement such as tremors, stiffness and difficulty with balance and coordination.
Which of the following conditions is a chronic autoimmune disease that affects the neuromuscular junction? A. Myasthenia gravis B. Multiple sclerosis C. Guillain-Barre syndrome D. Trigeminal neuralgia And the correct answer is A. Myasthenia gravis Myasthenia gravis is a chronic autoimmune disease that affects the neuromuscular junction. This condition causes weakness in the voluntary muscles because the immune system attacks the connections between the nerves and muscles. As a result, muscles tire easily and may not work properly. Which type of surgery is used to repair a bulging or herniated disc in the spine? A. Laminectomy B. Spinal fusion C. Discectomy D. Craniotomy And the correct answer is C. Discectomy The surgery used to repair a bulging or herniated disc in the spine is called a discectomy. In this procedure, the surgeon removes the part of the disc that is pressing on the nerves. This helps to relieve pain and improve movement. Recovery can take a few weeks and physical therapy is often needed to regain strength and flexibility. Which type of brain surgery is used to treat intractable epilepsy by removing the area of the brain where seizures originate? A. Temporal lobectomy B. Thalamotomy C. Pallidotomy D. Corpus callosotomy And the correct answer is A. Temporal lobectomy the type of brain surgery used to treat intractable epilepsy is called a lobectomy. In this surgery, the surgeon removes the part of the brain where the seizures start. This helps to reduce or stop the seizures. Patients often need to stay in the hospital after a few days after the surgery and follow up with the therapy to recover. Which procedure involves using a catheter to remove a blood clot from the brain artery in patients with acute ischemic stroke? A. Carotid endarterectomy B. Thrombectomy C. Craniotomy D. Laminectomy And the correct answer is Drop your answers in the comment section below. For downloading PDF content and for latest updates, follow our Telegram channel. I have given the link in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching.